So I went camping this summer and I was attacked by horse flies and subsequently inspired to apply their aggression strategy to the scout <laughs> class in TF2. Now you might think that you'd want to buzz around and double jump with the scatter gun, or even soar in the air like the majestic creature you are with the soda popper. But the thing is, horse flies don't fuck around. They go straight to their target with relentless aggression until either the job is done or they are dead. Horse flies are very fast and you cannot escape. Therefore, the baby faces blaster is the play. With its insane speed boost that you get when you bite someone, no other class can escape you once they are in your sights. When adopting the horsefly strategy, you need to identify exactly who you are going for in real time and commit. You are a biological heat-seeking missile, either hitting your target or getting shot down. You would be surprised at what you can pull off with this horsefly-like speed, how many victims you can bite in quick succession without the others noticing, how many daring escapes you can make after your target has been bitten and is suffering in pain. Even if the campgoers notice you, it's not like they can do anything about it you are too fast for their feeble minds. For the secondary, I choose the stock pistol since it is versatile in all situations and a good backup for if your mandibles are sore. With only four bites able to be loaded at once, having 12 more can give you more chances to defeat your target if you miss your initial shots. And lastly for the melee, I prefer the Boston Basher. When biting the opponents with this, an infection is applied that not only disorients them, but also makes them unable to escape your wrath asserting your dominance even when no longer present. I will now show you the five horse flies of the apocalypse to help you remember this strategy. Sun Tzu said that. And the first horse fly of the apocalypse is speed. <laughs> Maintaining your top speed is essential to pulling off this strategy. So you wanna do everything you can to get your speed going ASAP, whether it be going in head first and getting the most succulent bite imaginable to max your speed instantly or chip away from afar before going in for the finishing attack. Remember, you cannot double jump or all the speed you gained will be lost, rendering you into a baby horse fly in an alleyway able to be surrounded easily by those guys with electric swatters. The next horse fly is very, very angry and he wants you to be aggressive, very aggressive. Once locked on, the horse fly charges. Now it's not always about doing the smart play, you must also send a message, a message that you are not scared and that if you die, more will come. They will learn to fear you. And once fear is in their hearts, the horsefly reigns supreme. Horsefly requires you to be everything, everywhere, all at once. Horseflies are found almost everywhere on the planet, and so should you. Show up in their spawn, behind them, beside them, with them, hovering at a distance in which they can see you but can't do anything about it, and charging at them face on so that they will see you coming but know in their hearts that they are doomed to be bitten, unable to escape your vile ways. Now Sun Tzu said this himself. It's not a matter of if a horsefly will strike, it's a matter of when. Not only should you understand this, but make sure your opponents do. They need to always be living in a state of constant fear and anxiety of when you will show up. Oh, Horseflies haven't evolved millions of years and become successful from just charging in. They have also adopted a genius strategy, the circle strategy. You must constantly switch up from the basic charging in strategy to the circle strategy to confuse and disorient your opponents. This way, it'll make it much easier for you to land in and get your meal. Make it so that even if they know where you are, they don't know where you will come from. And because of your super speed, they will not be able to check every spot in time without you showing up and getting what you want and then sinking back into your stupid little hellhole that you came from in order to pop out of another one somewhere else. Spin in circles to avoid being swatted, 
and most importantly, understand the circle of life. By about halfway through the game, everyone on the other team should know of your presence. Maybe some of them have gotten confident, thinking that they understand how you work. They set up their sickening research facilities where they conduct experiments trying to understand how you hunt, how you tick, but you evolve faster than they can research. They don't know you. They don't know the immense power you hold with your hairy legs and your many eyes. Once they are accustomed to your circle ways, start doing anti-circles. This way you will always show up as expected, but not where expected. The speed from your primary allows you to pull this off quickly before they can catch on, showing them that their research and planning was all for nothing as you adapt in real time. Ah, oh, there's a new angel in heaven. The mental game is a very important part of the horsefly strategy because if you are successful, it renders your opponents less likely to tackle your horsefly ways. By default, your mere existence is annoying, but you can up your annoyance immensely. Be creative and grow the horsefly hive mind of techniques. Here is a few of many examples. Imagine a sniper trying to play the game, with a swarm of these godforsaken creatures buzzing around, biting his ass at the perfect moment right before he takes a shot. Even if the fly's presence is no longer there, after the third time of pestering him, he will be checking everywhere so often, he might as well not even be playing the game because he's so preoccupied. Try this one. Hit a gnarly bite on the juiciest man you can find, but do not finish him off. Instead, use his energy and sustenance to speed off to another victim, leaving the first bite victim in disarray, low health, and poor spirits for the fight, with the other teammates blaming him for letting you get away. You can be sneaky, but always make sure your presence is known. Alert enemies of where you are by wearing an outfit that stands out like a lighthouse, beaming its light into the cloudy seas, along with the constant buzzing sounds in their ears, so that they crash into the rocks anyways, out of pure frustration. Now that you are equipped with the right weapons, the wisdom of the five horseflies of the apocalypse, and an endless creative hive mind of annoying ideas, go forth and spread your wings, bringing misery to all who play Team Fortress 2. Thank you all for watching this uh, weird ass video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys like more projects like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'm also putting all the donations that I've got for the past few months in this video because I've been forgetting to put them all in my other videos, so here's the giant donation backlog. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.